I think being an actor and being a director are two completely different things. And I think if I really wanted to be a director, I think I would have to stop acting. Because I think, I can only speak for myself, I think it, it uses a different part of your brain and it uses it differently. I suspect that what I am is an actor who directs. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I think there are some actors who direct and they, and they do it pretty well. And what I, I don't do is harm an actor. Um, I allow people the space to do what they need to do. Um, I can bring it together pretty well. I have pretty strong ideas about what I like and what I don't like. But that's not the same thing as having a director's vision. It's taken me a long time to learn that. <laughs> but um, I can tell now when I only act and I don't direct, I am happier. When I only direct and don't act, I am happier. To do the two things at the same time, I find extremely difficult because I, when we did um, Macbeth and I directed Richard II in the same year, and I could see this coming up, and so I pre-learned Macbeth, Lady Macbeth, so that I wouldn't have to worry about learning the lines during the rehearsal, so that I could simply, um, a la Judy Dench, if I can for just a moment borrow such exalted company, I put myself in that, in that place where I could simply go into rehearsals and, and ideally be completely present every moment of the time, because I knew that I would be going to Richard II rehearsals. Well, that worked in a way, and partially because I knew the play of Macbeth so well. I'd studied it for many years before I actually played it. But what it, what it missed were those times when you're sitting eating dinner and all of a sudden something occurs to you, when you wake up in the middle of the night realizing that you had a dream about the part. I would wake up in the middle of the night dreaming about Richard II. When I was eating dinner, the things that would occur to me would be about Richard II because that's where my anxiety lay. It didn't lie with the production of Macbeth in which I was acting. Do you find the same, this is an actor's question here, do you find the same problem when you're rehearsing two or three parts at the same time? No. No. And so I can only think that there's, if you could put electrodes on an actor's brain and then send the actor off to direct, I can only think you would find a completely different part of the brain being used. No, I don't at all. 